Notepad++ is a Windows-only software that's a free source code editor that supports many different programming languages like HTML, PHP, Perl, Ruby, and the list just goes on and on. Now, if we head on over to notepad-plus-plus.org, that'll bring us to the Notepad++ website. And if we go to the Features section here, that can tell you a little bit about some of the goodies that go along with this free editor. Oh, and by the way, this is, a again, a Windows-only software. If you're a Mac user, a good equivalent to this is called Komodo Editor. And you can get Komodo Editor by going to Active state.com forward slash komodo dash edit now they do have a paid version but all you really need is the free version so don't worry about having to cough up 250 bucks so to download it you just come on over here to the download tab and the easiest way is just to click on the big green button here but however you plan on doing it just download it just click on that button there navigate to the location where you want it downloaded to click on save and it's not a big file, so it's not going to take long to download. Then go ahead and navigate to the location on your computer where you have it downloaded to. Right-click on this. Left-click on Run as Administrator. Then this is going to pop up. Click on whatever language you want, and then click on OK. Then this is going to pop up and tell you you need to close down everything before you click on Next to begin the install process. I'm not going to do that because then you wouldn't see the rest of the video. That's basically it. Now, once you do have it installed, get out of here. If everything went properly, you should have a shortcut icon on your desktop. If for some reason you don't, or you opted out of that particular feature, then to go ahead and run Notepad++ whenever you want it, then you go on into your C drive, head on over to the Program Files x86, and look for Notepad++ right here. Open that folder up, and then right here it is. Now, what I would do is go ahead and pin this on my Start menu, and you can do that by right-clicking and come on down here to Pin to Start menu. Basically, with it being pinned to your Start menu, you click on the icon one time to open up the program. Otherwise, the icon on your desktop being a shortcut, you have to double-click on it. So, yeah, one click, two clicks, totally up to you. But if you wanted to go ahead and just put it as a shortcut on your desktop, come on down here to Send to Desktop Create Shortcut. And again, basically, that should have happened during the install process. But either way, you now have it installed on your computer. Good for you. Now, let's go ahead and open this up. And here we are. Now, one of the cool things I like about this is that it makes things a lot easier to find the various bits of code in here. If you've ever tried to edit an HTML page that's a thousand lines long and you had to do some editing between the opening and closing div tag of a certain chunk of code, well, without something like this colored syntax, it would be close to impossible. But now all you have to do is just left click on the opening div tag, scroll down till you find the other purple closing div tag, and there you go. Everything in between this purple guy and the top purple guy is game for editing and you know that you're in the right area. This is an HTML file. Same thing with a PHP file. It's all nice and colored, so it makes things a lot easier for navigating and editing. And you can even create. You don't have to just edit, but you can also create these particular HTML or PHP files directly within the free Notepad++. And you've got a ton of other features up here you can work with. You can create and run your own macros. You've got built-in spell checker, all kinds of cool stuff. And that's going to bring us to the end of this video on Notepad++.